Hey everyone, long time no see. It's me, Tentabat, your favorite furry artist. At least I hope your fa I'm your favorite. Um, maybe top 30 would be nice. Anyways, uh, this video, the speed paint, I feel like it's a, a long time due. Uh, I finished this animation back in April 2023, and I believe it was a Patreon poll. Well, I chose the character already. This is the this is Babe, uh, the dragon from Luck. The movie's just called Luck, 2022. And yeah, I chose the character, and the poll, the Patreon poll was which animation. I had two uh, sketch an animation ideas for this character, and I asked my patrons, "Oh, hey, which?" animation should I shade and <laughs> obviously it had to be the more uh, complicated one to be shaded so everyone voted for that and <laughs> I know I sound harsh but it's not that um, I, I, I did want it to shade uh, the more complicated animation because I knew it was gonna be really cool looking at the end uh, it just took a bit longer of course uh, I took my time with it and yeah so luck 2022 was a mid movie there's no nicer way to say it um the visuals were all right the story was okay yeah it was just pretty mid um luckily for me and Rocco, we saw this movie in theaters for some reason it, it was amazing that the the movie was showing in theaters and yeah i quite like my experience. Um, I haven't watched the movie again ever since. Um, I kind of like uh, watching movies when I don't remember everything, when I don't have a vivid memory of the events. So yeah, okay movie. Um, yeah, I would watch it when you're bored or you, you just want to watch an animated movie. I did see, um, what's it called? Concept art. On Twitter from an artist I follow and it was it was very interesting uh, I really liked their their uh, backgrounds and uh, I don't think I saw much of their character work but it, it was pretty exciting to see concept art of such a movie all right so yeah the real reason why I wanted to see the movie was just for the dragon in the trailer it featured a dragon that turned out her name was babe babe the dragon and she had such an interesting design. Uh, for one, she had multiple limbs. She has an extra set of arms. And she she was very pink, but she had um, blue blue highlights. I would say blue markings. And it was it was very. <laughs> she had long eyelashes. She had piercings. What why wouldn't you want to <laughs> see a movie with such a character? To be honest, I'd rather the whole movie be about her, but alas, it was not. It was about a uh, human, human orphan, adult orphan, and yeah, it, I would say at least um, the theming, the themes of the movie was pretty interesting. Um, like I thought it was really interesting how they come up with the lesson, the lesson that being, oh, you don't always need a look. But um, uh, we have skills to overcome uh, conflict, uh, to pivot to solutions, uh, something of that that kind of idea. Yeah, sorry, I'm not very good at explaining uh, with my voice. But yeah, uh, the human protagonist, um, she's always unlucky, but when she gets a penny that gives her more luck, and, you know, she wants more of that penny. She wants, and she stumbles upon this world of luckiness and unluckiness, like a du duality sort of world. And um, by the end of the movie, um, <laughs> uh, the the world is in balance, and uh, she realizes she didn't need that lucky penny. Uh, she she can hold out on her own. She she's a girl boss. She don't need no penny she can overcome whatever life throws at her etc uh, etc et I feel like I'm 
repeating myself, but yeah, that's the gist of it. Also, spoilers for the end of the movie, if you're ever interested in looking up that movie. Um, the dragon, Babe, um, for a moment, uh, she wanted to give everybody luckiness, like the whole entire world a uh, good bit of luck, because she's like a luck dragon. She She's like the, the principal of the luck society. And she was about to, you know, make Earth super lucky or whatever. But uh, toward, towards the end, uh, the protagonist um, talked her out of it and she put balance back into the world. And I thought while watching it, that <laughs> that was kind of lame. I, I kind of wanted to see uh, Babe's uh, consequences of her idea. I really want to see oh, <laughs> what could go wrong, uh, but no, we we never see that. We uh, we never see that villain arc of her, which is a shame. But yeah, cool dragon character. I would definitely see the sequel of the movie if it included her, this character, Babe. Anyways, yeah, I'm really sorry. The speed paint is <laughs> heavily censored. But, you know, I I really had to. Um, <laughs> it's a really explicit piece of artwork and I don't want to get in trouble. Uh, sorry. Maybe one day I'll get more popular and upload the uncensored version to Patreon later on when I, when I get that ability, when I have enough money to pay for a premium subscription to uh, Patreon or Vimeo and I'll soon a later upload uncensored speech paints but until then uh just enjoy my commentary and what i have for now yeah so i made this animation a few months ago i opened the file right now and looking at it now um i i kind of feel like i should have added added more shading effects at least to the leg but tail area just to give it more depth because it's it seems closest to to the viewer and I bet that would have looked really enticing but I, I honestly I already really love this animation that I made already I have so many movements going around so many bounces so many effects uh, all all that stuff and for such a niche character which honestly, I don't mind at all. She's just a cool dragon character and I wanted to animate it. And I had lots of fun doing it. It just took uh, a good a good amount of time to actually complete this animation. But it was a lot of fun. So for this animation, I actually keyframed the the head portion of the animation. I used the, the computer movements, tweening or whatever you call it. Uh, for the head movement because I did not want to redraw the face every time and especially since I didn't have plans for it to uh, transform or move into a different perspective like uh, front facing or three-fourths angle uh, no new angles so I just um, use keyframes for the movement of the face I did animate some uh, follow-through features like uh, her fins and ears uh, I actually think her uh, fin, the fin area was kind of weird looking, but uh, well, I was just experimenting, practicing right there, so I, I I don't mind that much, but I feel like I was overdoing it for what effect came <laughs> at the at the end product. So I'm a little disappointed in that, but for the rest of it, I'm I'm very happy about. And yeah, not only did I have to shade this entire animation with moving parts everywhere, I also added uh, highlights. And not only highlights, <laughs> I also had to add wet effects. Um, to make wet effects, I just make like a darker multiply layer. And then I add highlights to get the shine of the wet, sweaty areas, whatever I need. And again, there's a lot of moving parts that you, you can't really see at the speed paint, but trust me, they're there. 
But yeah, I, with this animation, I felt like I learned a lot, especially with the keyframes. Um, they're they're not as scary as I thought they would, especially in Clip Steel. Uh, very, uh, not very, but maybe pretty user friendly, I would say. Um, but with the uh, keyframing, you do sometimes have to turn off that effect if you want to edit the layer again. And that's kind of annoying, but eh, I, I don't know. Maybe it's the limitations of the program. Uh, whatever. Uh, I'm just I'm just glad I tried it out, and probably made my life a lot easier so that I don't have to redraw the face every single time. And sometimes when I animate something, uh, and I, I'm not sure what I'm exactly doing with this animation, it kind of gets a little wonky, like the face could be um, distorted, like the eyes could get larger and smaller when I didn't mean it mean it to be. But yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just rambling. But yeah, that's that's the whole entire process of me animating. And then when I thought I was finally done and posted to Patreon, I totally forgot the blush effects that I, I like to do for my my uh, suggestive animations and I had to add that real quick which was pretty easy since the the face uh, was keyframed I kind of just keyframed the blush or just you know moved moved at a different angle I didn't have to redraw it every time so at, at least at least uh, I didn't have to do uh, extra extra amount of work but yeah, when I saw this dragon character, I knew I had to make some fan art of her. It was like, I I just had to. It was it was calling to me, and that's why I did two full animations of her. Uh, the last one was just a flat color. This one is fully shaded, and I'm pretty proud of the end product. It was, I'm I'm happy with it, <laughs> and I'm happy I got to share with a lot of people. Uh, Maybe, maybe not the uncensored work for YouTube, but I, I hope you enjoyed my thought process and this animation that you could barely see. At least, <laughs> at least some parts are uncovered, but you know, that's all I could do. Um, the uncensored artwork are somewhere else. Uh, <laughs> take, take a guess on where it's at, but yeah, that's, that's about it from me. Uh, thank you so much for watching my speed paint. I really, really do appreciate it. And I hope to really <laughs> do more work of this nature, which is making videos. Sorry that my conversation is a little wonky. I have no script. I'm going off the top of my head. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. And now I would like to thank my patrons who are on screen right now. Thank you so much. I couldn't have done this without your support. Thank you. Special thanks to my top tier patrons. Thank you, Seven Dead Jr., Bolt Chaser, Zhang, House, Grimitis, Tanzanite, Artie, Zerum, Kira Pringle, Retrospector, Dracos, Gold Dragon, Danger V, and Blue Dragon. Thank you, thank you so much for your big patronage. <laughs> and thank you for watching. I hope to see you soon. Bye.